Hey, I'm Greg. I'm Derek. And I'm Steve. Welcome to Men in the Den, and this is Monday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week here on The Den. This week is Challenge Week, so I challenged the boys to talk about the ten, the five songs that shaped their lives. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll go first. So, the one that's one of many that should have created a need for a conversation with my parents later in life. <laughs> um, Pointer Sisters, I'm so excited. Apparently it was my jam when I was three or four years old, that's however old I was when that came out. I had my own choreography, and every time that song came on, I bust out into my, I bust out into that rehearsed choreography. Did you have a wig and heels? I should have. <laughs> I should have. But, no. A Diana Ross wig, like, in The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I had a similar experience. I want to put a shout out to the Spice Girls and their hit song, Spice Up Your Life. I remember uh, my friend Corey and I uh, outside on the trampoline, jumping up and down and singing Spice Girls at the top of our lungs. And what did you know it? We both turned out to be gay. Imagine that. <laughs> And, and the funny story is me and Steve are very similar in many ways. I also have a best friend who also came out of the closet. We also used to jump on the trampoline and sing along the Spice Girls with. So, <laughs> trampolines. What do they make those things out of? Spice, trails. Spice Girls. Spice, Girls. Spice Trails. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's their Insatia Trail. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, another uh, song, you know... Uh, my family is very musical. They love lots of East Coast folk music. So uh, I remember very clearly as a childhood listening to the Rankin family. It's a Canadian song, uh, a Canadian band, and the song was uh, Moving Right Along. Because yeah, the name of it. Moving, moving on. on. Thank you. Moving on, yeah. Oh, man. Like the Ontario boy with the, with the Rankin family. Yeah, yeah. We used to, well, my mom's from Newfoundland. We used to draw, drive out there for summer vacations when I was a kid. Uh, I remember my little brother singing Gaelic to Rankin family songs. Oh man. <laughs> Kim little... Yeah, it just, it just sounded <laughs> a little Kim Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, another one for me. Um, my family is very much a rock metal family. Um, for me growing up, Led Zeppelin was in the household all the time. My mom even has a Led Zeppelin tattoo. It's awesome. Yeah, but like I remember Black Dog was my first introduction to Led Zeppelin. And my parents had always been talking about it. It's like, oh, you kids in your Nirvanas and your Green Days, so let's wait till you hear the Led Zeppelin. <laughs> and she got Led Zeppelin 4 for Christmas, and I just remember that opening guitar riff in Black Dog, and I was like, sold, done, <laughs> slayed. Yeah, yeah. Put on my wig and heels, do my Pointer Sisters dance. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next song for me, uh, you know, when I was a teenager, I got into punk and like I had these gross mutton chops that were like down here and no other beard because I couldn't grow anything. I think for me, the, the song I remember most from that era was uh, uh, Bad Religion and the song is Sorrow. Uh, I love that band. My, you know, they're super like anti religious and my father's a pastor, so it's me being all like, ooh, rebellious teenager. <laughs> Uh, but the music was good too, you know? I love uh, good vocal harmony. Well, I definitely had my punk rock phase as well. Distillers, City of Angels was my jam. I just remember my friends Neil and Chris, we would just be driving around Fredericton all the time. And that song would usually come on and uh, while we were on our way to the lake. And that, just every time I listen to that song, I just always remember those good times we had. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the next song for me, I'd say like, uh, early University Steve, uh, I got introduced by my friend Dan to uh, Sufjan Stevens. Love mm. Sufjan Stevens, Chicago. What a great song, oh man. Chicago's that wonderful. Betty, get down from there. Got me into all kinds of indie oh, music. Betty's found the moss. Betty's after the moss. <laughs> you talk about uh, Sufjan. <laughs> Sufjan Stevens, awesome. Iron and Wine, awesome. Uh, man, those are some good, good times. <laughs> For university there's a spider on the wall. Oh, oh there's a boy, there's a spider on the wall. Oh. <laughs> Tis the season. Tis the season for humidity and spiders. All right, um, for me, Radiohead was big for me when I was in university. I even got the Kid A tattoo on the back of my neck here. I could show. Yeah. Can you show? Yeah, you can. 
Hold on. Lower. 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 Pull down the back of your shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Touch all the skin. Touch all the skin. <laughs> Touch all of this shit. <laughs> like, I don't have any um, tattoos. I just remember, like, first year university, me and friends just chilling out listening to OK Computer and just... Every time the sing-along parts came up, everyone else in the other rooms would eventually join us for other the other sing-along parts. So, if I'm going to pick a song, though, Paranoid Android. Oh, man. I thought of a great song for my last fifth song that shaped my life. It's going to go to the Decemberist song is The Hazards of Love Part 2. And that is Steve's ex-boyfriend song. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Past dating. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, Nothing about that. <laughs> Am I gonna do a dating one for one that I could I just can't even listen to anymore? There you go. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I, I am, am for real. real. Sorry. Never meant. Uh, I could <laughs> we'll say it, it. but we'll leave it there. Leave it there. But leave it there. I, maybe I'm not sorry, Miss Jackson. Exes are best left in the past. Yeah, they shaped your life, but it's over yeah. now. Hopefully, I think for one thing, yes, they do shape your life. Yes, they do shape your life. Some, some good ways. Yes. Some bad ways. Mostly in good ways, though. Yeah. You become better people if you, even if you go through some hard stuff. True. Very true. Oh, but if I'm going to pick a serious last song, though... Um... <laughs> Not the Jeopardy theme, that's for sure. I don't know, there's so many songs and there's so much music that has shaped my life. It's just... It's hard to really pinpoint a lot of the moments in some of the songs that were there. I know for one, it's going to be that Blue Rodeo song, Try. Because oh. this one always sings it to me. Oh. And whenever we go to karaoke. Oh, good answer. And it was the first song. I, well, what the, what's the first song? No, I the, fir the first song you ever heard me sing was I Touch Myself. He actually. <laughs> had, he had his choreography, he had his wig and his heels on, touching himself all over the place. And okay. his friends were all like, I think he's exaggerating a little bit. <laughs> Just some places. I'm pretty sure I didn't touch myself in <laughs> He was public. like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that is it for this week, everyone. Tune in next, the rest of the week, to see what else the guys are going to do. And maybe the next challenge video, they will challenge me. Oh, I guess yeah. that's a challenge, except... So I guess they've got four weeks to figure something out. The challenge is to think of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Oh, like man. A meta challenge. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, as always, like, share, subscribe, and have yourselves a great week. Yeah! Woo!